Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's. I gotta get the last bags in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, frozen. please. Sorry, bro. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. You know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Oh, Ben. Well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup, okay, 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 let's all put our little dick swank at the show on the road, huh? Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <sighs> It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go and... Uh, ew. <sighs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide? Boner. Fide. Get it? Funny. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Uh, mm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird, I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <sighs> What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. ring a ding ding Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I- you're absolutely right, he does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, alright? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. 
I'm not gonna fuck a bear. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... <laughs> well, who does get to go first? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang up thingy? What? What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like, uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home. 
and then here I um You're a wise wise cracking smartass. <laughs> uh that's a little harsh, but uh, No. Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean people kind of enjoyed the blase Dylan. Uh, and do do you enjoy the blase Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him, he's, that makes a lot of sense. This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Okay, okay. Let me get this set up. So, what should I say? Uh, just like, Make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere and there's these hunters too and they seem to be shooting at the bears but also at us um which is not good and a few of our friends are hurt and um we are in desperate need of help so please I mean, there's vicious bears and uh we don't know what to do so please uh come help us sos uh this is uh, an emergency s save our ship come on down please help us yeah i do good was that swarm of bears yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. We gotta kill it. It's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Of course it is, why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man, I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe, uh, I mean, we could, we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. And I mean, it would hurt like hell, but. Okay, fine, let's do it, feedback thing. Okay, so the engine's completely screwed. More great news. I mean, if I could summon a working car out of thin air, I would. Wait, maybe I can. Okay, she's gone nuts. There's a scrapyard up the road. If we're looking for a vehicle, maybe there's one there? That sounds like a long shot. Got something better to do? Not die. Yeah, I'd like that too, by getting the hell out of here. Okay, well just because you're using logic to make sense doesn't mean that I'm totally into it. What about Abby? She'll be safer in the storm shelter. We don't all have to go. Agreed. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road. No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. 
So basically it's another hour walk to the main road and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever. Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you the hook face. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all gonna be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? This always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh shit. Relax. It's motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh look, steampunk's back in. Ew, come on, this way. hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh, I hear that now. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. There, you should have moved out of the way. Where I... was I supposed to go? Whoa, okay. Sorry I saved your life. Jeez. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. Dylan, 
thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. Okay, well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great, just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, uh, RIP microphone. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make, make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Fuck mates for life, we're proud to proud say. say. Shout at Strat and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? <sighs> Fuck you! I got you, motherfucker. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Really? 